For example, cooking. Deep fried by design. Robot made takoyaki. Programmed to cook a popular octopus dish. This is the same robot running a different program. This time it's making okonomiyaki, a kind of Japanese pancake. Delicious, if calorific, and complicated. Tasks like this require precision, timing and process on the part of the chef, especially a robot chef. One company in Osaka programs robots for all kinds of scenarios. Hazardous environments, repetitive tasks, you name it, they can program it, even a manicure. So this robot's undergone 10 days worth of programming and it can now do nails with a precision of 0.05 millimetres. Which when you think about it, it's probably what you're going to need as a human. We just don't see it as, as difficult. Now, at first thought, it might sound like a pointless task to program a robot to do this, but painting nails is actually a great way to test just how accurately a machine can perform. Us humans need practice to do this too, but from first principles, every brush has a different length, each layer requires the robot to do something different, and even picking up the brush requires a complex subroutine. So to teach a robot how to paint nails is rather more involved than teaching a human. There are lots of steps involved in many tasks, but the skill here is not just the mechanics, but how to control them, called systems integration in the trade. And in a future where robots might care for humans, no one wants a big margin of error. Japan is becoming an ageing society. We're running short of so-called good workmen, and we're losing their workmanship. It is important for humans in the next generation to inherit those skills. We're thinking of doing this by using robots. Right now, the robot isn't cleared to do this on a person yet, and history shows regulation tends to take time to catch up with technology. Until then, we'll just have to make our own dinner.